So today I am back to share with you a preview of some of the recent patterns that I have made and I will show you in a couple of weeks videos of what these garments look like all sewn up. So the first pattern that I made is Quick Sew 3807 and these are some close fitting pants that I made and I made view A which has the zipper on the inside of the leg and the other view has the zipper going on the outside of the leg. And this is the only pants pattern that I made out of all of these sewing makes. The next one is Simplicity 8415. I made view C and I made it as a top instead of a dress. And out of all of these patterns, this is the only scrap buster project. Next is Butterick 6680. I made view C in stripes over the summer. This time I made view A, which is the shorter dress. And this is the only project that I made out of all of these where I made a very noticeable modification in the finished garment. The next one is McCall 7660. I made view B, which I made as a pullover sweater. And out of all of these, I would say this is the garment that I have worn the most. Next is Simplicity 8175. I showed this garment recently in the culottes, but this time I made the skirt that the model is wearing and I made this um, without the belt. Out of all of these garments, this is the garment that was the most involved because it has um, a zipper and it has a waistband and pockets. So yeah, this was the one that kind of took the most time out of all of these. The next one is McCall's 7991. I made view B, which is the dress with the crossover front wrap bodice. Out of all of these, this is my most comfortable make. Next is Simplicity 9014. This was a really simple make. I made view B, and in fact, out of all of these, this was the easiest one to make. Last is McCall 7688. I made view A. This is also a simple pullover top. And this is the only pattern that I made where I've made the same view on this pattern before. So this is a remake, but of course I just did it in different fabric. Yeah, so those are all the things that I have made recently that I cannot wait to share with you. Before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So my love share is an app and it is called the clocks. That's what the app looks like. So when you open the app though, this is what you get. I love this. So you can do the same thing on your phone as you can do if you have a tablet. So you open it up and it's like a little clock. Well, it is a clock and you can go through the different views and you can get different types of clocks, different styles. You can, on this one, you can change the color of the uh, numbers. You can do um, digital or analog. So, I'm sorry, analog or, is it digital or analog? Yeah, I think that's right. So you could do a digital or analog clock, whichever kind that you prefer. And yes, I just really love it. And another thing is you can pinch the screen and make it small and you can kind of rotate it and go different ways. I love this. And then it has an alarm on it if you want to set the alarm. But I like that it just looks really nice. If you're in a room and you don't have a clock in the room, you can just, you know, open this app and set it on a table or something and just have it as a display and I just think it looks really, really nice. So yes, I love it. And another thing I forgot to mention is you can dim it. So if it's too bright, you can like swipe it and it'll get dimmer and oh, it's just awesome. I just love this, love this app. So yes, that is my love share for today. I am so happy to know about this little app because I think it just looks so, so cool. So I had to share it with you. So thank you guys so very much for watching and I will be back in the very next video. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.